Hey, hey guys, tis I, Randy Strand, and I am here today to do a very cool unboxing. I had Rosa with Diamond Painting Shop reach out to me, and I know they've reached out to a couple of creators. Um, they have a lot of different licensed poured glue um, paintings. And I know a lot of people have picked Hannah Lynn and some different ones like that, so I thought I would choose something to unbox for you. Uh, that would be a little bit different, and it is uh, right up my alley. So, without further ado, first of all, I would like to thank Rosa for sending this to me. Here is Sea Blennies, and I just thought that was so cool. You guys know I grow corals. We have aquariums. I just thought that was really cute. These guys are awesome. They go down in the sand and they spit out sand and they dig little holes. So blennies are really cool. So this is sea blennies from Diamond Paint Shop. And um, it is a 65 by 83. So it's a pretty good size painting. Now this box was inside another larger box and it was packaged really well. It also had plastic around it, but I took that off. So, uh, I believe this is a square kit, but I'm, I'm not sure. Let's see if it says anywhere on here. Um, it just says acrylic diamonds and it shows everything that's in here. I, I don't know. Let's just open it up and see and see what all is in here. Now, I'm not getting paid to do this or anything else, but I was offered this painting to unbox, so I'm pretty jazzed about it. And they really do have a lot of cool canvases on the website. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you go check them out, and, and this got to me pretty fast too. It was a pre-order, but I think it was already on its way to them. So we've got our big old canvas in here. Let's see, it's wrapped up. We've got a little tool kit in here. Let's see, you know, it's probably got the usual. We got a little squishy in here to go on your pin. We have some very pointy tweezers. We've got our pin, a sparkly pin. It's got a three placer on it and a brass tip. And then we've got, I don't know if I can get it out of here. We've got a tray with some wax. Oh, cool. And we've got a thin tin placer and a thin four placer. So that's nice, especially if you like the thin plastic tips. And then we have our drills here. Oh, and it's a round. Okay, sorry guys. I don't know why I thought it was a square. It is a round. And it looks like we've got some crystals in here as well as a bunch of ABs. So that's really cool. All right. Um, I don't see any sort of sticker sheet. In fact, there's not even a sticker sheet inside the uh, drills. So let me just fold this sucker back on itself because like I said, it is poured glue. The canvas is nice. It's, uh, it's got a little heft to it. It's, it's good. It's kind of felt on the back. So that's nice. And it's a little stiff, but it's not, not in a bad way. I like it. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. So you see there's, there's these little things in the plastic that's not on your canvas. So basically all you do is you just kind of pull this back a little bit carefully. And don't pull it all the way off because if you lay it down the wrong way, you might get into some trouble. So basically it's just some wrinkles in the plastic there. As you can see, laying it back down and it looks very good. Let me go ahead and do this on the other side as well. Yeah, so this is a, a new, like I said, a new company to me, but they have reached out to a couple of different creators to have them unbox stuff and I just, I thought about the Hannah lens and I was like, man, I'm sure there's probably a lot of people that'll be getting a Hannah lens and I just wanted something different. So I, I really like this one. It does have some color blocking in it. And you guys know that I'm more of a 
confetti girl, but I think it's got a good mix. Look how adorable they are, and the corals are so pretty. I think the colors are going to be nice and vibrant in this one, and you know, that's what I like too. So you got the two little blennies sticking out here. Um, really like it. Up in the top, it says Diamond Painting Shop. You have your very large schematic here. There are 63 colors, and we've got one, two, three, four ABs, five ABs. And then I know I saw crystals. I don't know how they have those marked on here. Ah, and we've got three crystals, so that's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five ABs, and one, two, three crystals. Yeah, so that should be interesting. I like it. Down here, they've got their social media, the Facebook and Instagram. Over in this bottom corner, it says Seaweed Blennies. It's by Carolyn Steele, and it is licensed. Um, let's see and it is a 65 by 83 centimeter and then you've got your little uh thumbnail there and then up in that top left hand corner you've got the uh little thumbnail and the schematic again so i really like that i think it looks cool uh let's see here and zoom you down in here all right so as i said we have 63 colors and just like on the canvas, we do have the um, little number here in case you keep the drills separate, 65 by 83. And like I said, it is around. Uh, I won't take every color out just because why would I? Um, they're all in these separate baggies. You can see all of the beautiful colors in here. I love this. It's just a really vibrant set of colors. I think it's going to look great. Let's get in here. If I can find where to open this sucker. Up here. And if you don't like the crinkle, what's wrong with you? In here. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Oh, man. Look at this color. Is that 995? Where is it? Of course it is. Look at that. I love 995. What a beautiful color. That kind of electric looking blue. So yeah, they look good. I mean, they're pretty flat on the back. I see one little tiny piece of trash in there. Who cares? But uh, the drills look nice and flat on the back. I think they're really cool looking. The colors are just great. Let's get down in here and see all of our special drills. And there's our crystals. And then here's our ABs. So we have some kind of clear crystals. We've got a big old bag of these kind of yellowy gold colored ones. And then we've got this bag here that also looks kind of like a pale yellowish gold color. So these are our crystals. And then we've got a cream colored AB. We've got a yellow AB. And then we have three different pinks here. So you can see those, really pretty. The coating on them is really nice too, I'm impressed. You know, some companies I kinda complain about them not having a good coating on the ABs. These look really nice, so I'm impressed with that. Um, Let's flip it over and see where the special drills go. And then, like I said, these are the vibrant colors that are going to be in the painting. How beautiful is that? There's greens and orange and blues and pinks and reds and yellows. I, I think the colors are fabulous. So far, I am very pleased, very, very pleased. And of course, I will put their information down below. Let me back you out. Guys, what am I thinking? Let's look at the drill field first. So, here is some of the lighter part, and there's some interesting symbols on here. They look pretty good. They look pretty good. If I can get this to focus, there we go. Some of the symbols are kind of interesting, but they seem clear enough. 
Let's move on up here and look. There we go. Sorry, it's a little blurry. It's me, not them. Yeah. And then let's move, I don't know, to this section. I guess that's sort of what we looked at. What about over here? Yeah, I mean, the colors are vibrant and they look pretty, I don't want to say saturated. They look pretty vibrant here, but honestly, in person, they are not bad at all. It's not like another company that I sort of complain about them being overly saturated. This actually looks really nice. I'm pleased with the symbols and the clarity and the color of the canvas. It's not crazy bright. It's it's just right. I think I'll be able to see it well with or without a light pad. Um, you know, it's always hard to know until you actually have it on there, but uh, I think they look pretty good. I did test a little tiny corner over here and it, it was very sticky, so I'm impressed with that. Um, and then let's see where everything goes. So, uh, oh, before I do that, sorry guys, I'm, I'm all over the place here. Where you've got your schematic up here, because you don't have a sticker sheet, the easiest way to take care of that, and I know some people are like, ah, oh, but if you're gonna frame it or whatever, well, I'm not. So I have a Xyron sticker maker here, and all you do is you take and you put your strip down in here, and you pull this out, and it actually makes whatever you put in there sticker, uh, like a sticker. So what I'll do is I'll take the schematic over here and I'll cut it off and then I'll run it through the Xyron sticker maker and it will make those stickers. Now these are numbered one through 63. So I know some people uh, will, you know, do it that way instead of using the symbols, but I don't like to do it that way. So like here's number 56. So when you look on the schematic over here, you would find 56 and you'd see your symbol. I just, I don't get up that way. So that's just me. All right, now I'm gonna get down into the business. Vonda, this is for you. <laughs> I did a bling session with Vonda and she said, I'll never forget watching your unboxing. I saw you crawling around on the floor, pointing out where stuff goes instead of people that you just see their hands. And I'm like, I know, I'm just crazy like that. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, this one right here, the clear looking crystal is going to be the symbol. It's kind of like a D with a slash in it. So we've got some right here in the Blenny's eye and we've got some just sort of sprinkled throughout. It's kind of where you see the white areas. Um, so there's quite a bit sprinkled throughout his face and kind of up in his eye area. And I don't see any more in this section. I bet it's gonna be the same thing over here. Yeah, same thing. So where you see a bunch of these white spaces, um, that's where those clearish crystals are going to go. The next set that we have is that sort of larger bag of sort of goldy yellow colored ones. And that is going to be, that's an interesting symbol. Um, let's see if I can find that on here. Yeah, okay. So it's gonna be kind of in the, not on the very tip, but sort of on the inner edge of this coral. There are a bunch of them sort of on the edge. It's, it's a medium orange color. It's like you've got the lightest one, another color, and then where that's gonna go. So in all the strips, on this particular piece of coral. That's where those are gonna go. And then the last crystal that we have is this sort of pale yellow one. And that is going to be a small, a lowercase j. And I did see quite a few of those. There's a bunch down here. Yep, there's some over here and up in this section and right through here. And we've got a couple in this section And we've got a few sort of on the edge of the corals on this side. It's almost like the light is reflecting over here. So on each of the edges of that coral, again, you've got that crystal. 
All right, so we have five ABs. So the first one is going to be that cream color. And that is number 59, and that is a lowercase t. So we've got some of those cream colored ones here in this section. We have some down here. All right, it's number 60. And like I said, look at the coating on this. The coating on those ABs is really nice. And uh, I didn't explain either. You can tell it's been a while since I've done a <laughs> unboxing video. Uh, that stand, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. So it's just an extra special coating on these and it just picks up the different colors of the drills around it. So these are really nice. Number 60 is going to be the at symbol. Let's see. So we have those in this particular coral right here. And we've got a bunch of them all throughout each, let's see, it's not, yeah, all throughout each of these. So we've got huge sections that have that color in it. Um, let's see, and right through here and down here. So in this coral, in sort of those lighter areas, you're gonna see that one. The next one we've got is a lighter pink. And that one is gonna be the check mark. So I have a feeling, yep, this is gonna be one of the lighter colors. This is right next to that at symbol, that darker pink. It's gonna be sort of on the tip of, that's what she said, of these corals right through here. You've got like large sections of those check marks. So those, especially this piece, you've got a bunch in there over here so you'll have a good bit of those and then the lightest pink sort of that baby pink i'm thinking this is like an 819 or something it's a pretty light pink color that is going to be 62 and that is the pound sign oh guys okay so we've got some of the checks and the ands up here in this section too so some of those other pinks are going to be up here we've got the pound signs here We've got some here in this section, up here, and I believe that's it. So those are going to be that lightest pink. And then here is the last one, which is that yellow color. And that is going to be, oh, it's like a, an R with a circle around it. Let's see. So those are going to be up in this coral as well. And it's kind of toward the edge. It's in between those crystals. So you're gonna get a good bit of ABs in between those crystals on this particular piece of coral. And I don't see any ABs or crystals in this piece. So this and this are going to be your focal points. And then you'll have little pieces throughout here and kind of a couple up here. So I think that's nice and spread out. You get a good mix of crystals and ABs. And once again, I love, love, love this painting. Thank you, Rosa, so much for reaching out to me. You guys go visit the Diamond Painting Shop. And like I said, if you're a Hannah Lynn fan, if you like landscapes, if you like kind of cute stuff, you know, cutesy stuff, they've got like cartoon stuff that's cute. It's just a really good variety. So check them out. Thank you so much for watching the unboxing. I hope I did an okay job. Like I said, it's been a bit. Here is a quick update. I finally got a sticker sheet. Basically what I did was I reached out to Rosa and just told her that I did not have a sticker sheet uh, in with the Seaweed Blennies painting. So she was super sweet and sent this to me very quickly. She said the people that packaged it 
you know, she let them know that they didn't put the sticker in there. Um, that way it wouldn't happen again. And I got it very quickly. Um, as you can see, it's a nice big sticker sheet. Now these are not individually cut, but that's super easy to take care of. Um, the only thing I'm probably going to reach out to her is you can see all of this is nice and big. I mean, this picture is the size of my hand practically. The problem is, is these are super tiny. There is another company and they make the labels crazy big. This is kind of the opposite. I mean, you can see my thumbnail. There are a bunch of them that fit <laughs> along the size of my thumbnail. So they are really tiny, tiny, tiny. It's kind of hard to see the symbols and stuff. If you look really close, you can kind of see them. The darker ones, there's the light. Um, it's a little hard to see. So anyways, this is super big and these are really, really tiny. You can kind of see better when I just lay the sheet down. Other than that, I'm loving the painting. Um, you saw my review already. And like I said, I'll reach out to Rosa, but I have to say thank you so much to Diamond Painting Shop. I know I'm gonna enjoy doing this painting. And other than the, the tiny symbols, I think it's gonna be great. I've enjoyed opening this one up with you guys. So if you liked it, please give me that thumbs up. And if you like the video and you'd like to see more, please click the subscribe button and that little bell that's over there and you will be notified anytime I put up a new video. All right, guys, until next time, I see you then.